السلام عليكم بهذا الفيديو راح اكمل الجزء الثاني من موضوع الميتا تريتمنت فلير اب الاندودونتيك ان ذس بارت اي ويل توك اباوت ذا هايبوثيسيس دايجنوسيس اند مانجمنت اند فاينالي بريكوجن تو بي تيكن تو بريفينت ذس فلير اب بتوين ذا فيزيت فيرست اوف اول ذا هايبوثيسيس اور مايكروبيولوجي اوف ذس بين بمعنى اخر الامراضيه او كيفيه احساس بالالم First hypothesis Alteration of local adaptation syndrome As we know, there is a balance between endodic microbia and immunity, immun our immunity If there is imbalance due to the our treatment in new or retained by irrigation or medical or medicament, intercanal medicament there is imbalance So this imbalance Due to the inflammatory response, there is a violent reaction. This violent reaction, due to the alteration between our immunity and endotic microbi, and this leads to pain due to inflammatory response. Another hypothesis: change in the preapical pressure. Change in the preapical pressure divides into teeth with increased preapical pressure or teeth with less preapical pressure, meaning that tooth with fistula or swelling. Excessive exudate pain occur when excessive exudate or this swelling of the stool because of pressure on nerve ending. This pressure on nerve ending this causes pain. If the tooth without the swelling, without the swelling, the major cause of pain microorganism, microorganism and other irritant preapical tissue. This is the major cause of pain. Another hypothesis, as we know, a microbial factor. Microbial factor is the major cause of this pain between the visit, especially anaerobic bacteria. Anaerobic bacteria produce enzymes such as endotoxin and other irritants. This cause severe pain. Another hypothesis: effect of chemical mediator in our body. Chemical mediator. One of the chemical mediator is cell mediator. This cell mediator, due to this cell mediator, due to the inflammatory response. Cell mediator histamine, serotonin, prostaglandin, plated activating factor, and lysosome, all these release and cause pain. Plasma mediator, plasma mediator, we have the Hagman factor. Hagman factor found in our circulation, our circulatory system, in an active form. If there is any new irritant or any inflammatory response in our body, this active. Due to the inflammatory response, when active, produce a bradycardia and activating a clotting cascade, and this causes severe pain or feeling of pain. Neutrophil product, as we know, any inflammatory response, neutrophil is found. Neutrophil pain occurs due to the enzyme release of the enzyme, collagen, peroxidase, analyzed lipase, and other lytic enzyme. This causes severe pain. Another hypothesis is change in cyclic nucleotide. As seen in this picture, this is the mast cell. As we know, mast cell is white blood cell. Play an important role in our immunity as a protective role. During an inflammatory process, this mast cell contains histamine and heparin. Release of histamine and heparin during an inflammatory response or any irritant in our body or foreign body. So in the flare-up, cyclic nucleotide in our body, adenosine monophosphate. This adenosine monophosphate, in normally, without inflammation in our body, this is the increase. Increase of this adenosine monophosphate inhibit the granulation of this mast cell. If decrease is due to the any inflammatory response, Guanosine monophosphate increase over the adenosine monophosphate and this cause degranulation of this mast cell and release histamine and cause severe pain due to the inflammatory response due to the foreign body in our body system. So this as protective rule, mast cell and cause severe pain due to the degranulation. Another hypothesis, immunological response. Immunological response, as we know, any chronic palpitis or periapical disease, there is lymphocyte and macrophage. 
although they are protective rule, they also found in destructive destructive rule an inflammatory process and this causes severe pain. Another hypothesis psychological factor. Psychological factor is very very important because patients with anxiety, apprehension and other previous history of dental experience appear to play an important role in mid-treatment flare-up because patients with bad history, previous history, bad history in, in, in dental clinic susceptible to pain between the visits than other patients. So reassurance of the patient is very important. Diagnosis and management. Diagnosis and management, establishing the cause of this pain is very, very important to prevent this pain or to reach the correct diagnosis to manage this pain. It is necessary to warn the patient that he or she may experience pain between the visit. And this is normal and can be managed successfully and not mean failure of the treatment. So this is very important reassurance and told about all the steps of the of our procedure and told him may experience pain. Then I will talk about the clinical cases come in the clinic with pain. If the patient come in the clinic with a previously vital pulp with complete debridement. In this case, vital pulp. Vital pulp, as we remember, vital pulp Pain occur between the visit is less than the necrotic pulp. So, in this condition, not need reopening of the tooth, only reassurance of the patient and the prescribed analgesic. No need any reopening or any corticosteroid or any intercalar medication in these cases. Another case, previously vital pulp with complete debridement. Vital pulp. Incomplete debridement. Incomplete debridement, as we remember, even a small amount of pulp tissue remain in the canal can cause severe pain. So here, pulp remnant may, may be the major cause in this patient, reopening of the tooth, working length adjustment, and then cleaning of the tooth with copious irrigation with sodium hypochlorite, place a dry cotton, and temporary filling. Mild analgesia or analgesic can be prescribed, relieve the tooth from occlusion. This is the management of this case. Another case, previously necrotic pulp without a swelling. Necrotic pulp. If the patient with necrotic susceptible to the pain, then the vital pulp. In this patient, reopening the tooth, establish the working link, also complete in a cementation, irrigation with sodium hypochlorite, any necrotic pulp, we prefer to put intercanal medication. Intercanal medication is very important in necrotic pulp or infected pulp. So we put intercanal medication calcium hydroxide. The NTF also we can prescribe analgesic and antibiotic. Another case Previous necrotic pulp with the swelling. Any swelling, as we remember, any swelling meaning pulp necrotic. So, in this patient, we need a drainage. Drainage from the tooth, and also we can drainage by incision of the swelling. After drainage, irrigation with sodium hypochlorite and also put calcium hydroxide intercanal medication in any necrotic pulp. With the swelling or without the swelling, it's very important to put intercanal medication and the drainage. As general management, general management to prevent this pain between the visit, reassurance of the patient, reassurance told him about all the steps and this pain can occur no normally between the visits and can be managed successfully and not meaning failure of the treatment. This is very important to all the patient. Another general management complete debridement of the root canal system because even a small amount of pulp tissue can cause severe pain. Another 
General management, establishing of the drainage. If the patient with the swelling, drainage is very important from the tooth and also we can drain drainage from the swelling. After the drainage, we prescribe antibiotic and flagyl against anaerobic bacteria. Flagyl is very important against anaerobic bacteria and also we can put intercalar medication calcium hydroxide after reopening with irrigation and then put intercalar medication is very important. Another general management relief from occlusion. Especially patient with pain, relief with occlusion is very important to prevent this pain between the visits. Another general management calcium hydroxide therapy is very important especially in necrotic pulp. Also another general management medication if the patient or if the case need analgesic and antibiotic analgesic we can prescribe non steroid anti inflammatory drug ipoprofen and ibuprofen ibuprofen also is very effective in severe pain another medication antibiotic antibiotic amoxicillin or augmentin Amoxicillin also is very effective with flagyl because with the flagyl, this active on anaerobic bacteria. Then I will talk about precaution to be taken to prevent this flare-up. As the precaution to prevent the incidence of this pain between the visit, proper diagnosis of the case. From the first. Proper diagnosis of the case is very important. Proper diagnosis meaning successful treatment, finally. So, proper diagnosis, another precaution, determination of correct working length, especially if working length over, because over working length meaning over instrumentation, and this means apical extrusion of debris and bacteria and cause inflammatory response, imbalance between, between endotic microbial and our immunity and this causes severe pain so working length is very important accurate working length or correct working length another precaution complete extirpation of the vital bulb meaning even a small amount of the bulb tissue cause severe pain so ac accurate access opening with complete bulb extirpation is very important to prevent the incidence of this pain between the visit Another precaution, complete chemomechanical procedure in one visit. Because if we not complete the instrumentation in one visit, another bacteria or another species of bacteria may remain in the canal that more resistance to the treatment and cause severe pain between the visit. So as possible, complete the chemomechanical procedure in one visit. Also, another precaution, selection of instrumentation technique. Crown down technique. In the crown down technique, the incidence of pain is reduced because the debris move coronally and this reduces the pain between the visit. Also, placement of intercalar medication, another precaution, especially if the necrotic pulp, patient with history with periapical lesion or swelling, fistula, pus, need intercalar medication to prevent this pain. Another precaution, don't leave teeth open for drainage. After drainage in the clinic, don't leave tooth open. Because open, this meaning saliva entering the tooth, food particles enter the tooth and cause pain. So we drainage the tooth inside the clinic and then put intercalar medication and prescribe the patient antibiotic with the flagyl. And also analgesic if need. This is the management of drainage or of swelling. Another precaution, prescription of analgesic and antibiotic if, if possible if patient needs this. As the conclusion of this lecture, the units of mild pain and discomfort is common even the treatment is high standard.
but still to prevent the incidence of this pain, psychological preparation of the patient is very important, reassurance of the patient. And this pain can be managed successfully and not mean failure of the treatment. This is very important. Tell the patient about this. Complete the cleaning and shaping in one visit to prevent the remaining of bacteria that more resistance to the treatment and also prescribe anesthesia or using of anesthesia or long acting anesthesia and analgesic. This decreases the incidence of this pain between the visits as possible. If all dentists follow this, this reduces the incidence of pain between the visits and this leads to the successful analgesic treatment without pain to the patient and more comfort to the dentist and to the patient. طبعا لهنا أنا كملنا هاي المحاضرة أتمنى استفدتوا منها بالقدر الكافي وإن شاء الله ألقاكم محاضرات أخرى في مجال طب الأسنان شكرا لحسن استماعكم